this geranium is still flowering I've cut it back a few times over the summer and every time I do it comes back with more flowers now these hardy geraniums are really reliable plants never fail to flower every year the only problem with them is they can get a bit carried away and start trying to take over the border so it's good to cut them back but they'll always come back with more these fuchsias are really indispensable in September when a lot of plants have stopped flowering these really stand out and I like this variety it's called beacon got nice big flowers again even after everything's flowered you've still got the hookahs adding colour to the garden in the autumn they'll carry on right through to the winter displaying this fantastic colour although they might start to get a bit tatty later on we'll just cut them back in the spring I can see that this rhododendron is full of buds waiting for next year to put on a nice display another fuchsia here now I've forgotten the variety of this I think it's Mrs Popple this is another really reliable plant will always perform and it's tough as well another beacon fuchsia now this plant here this golden plant it's probably in the wrong place it's a bush honeysuckle I think it's called a like Kestria formosa um, now what this is noted for is these bracts here There's not many on this, but they can provide some nice interest at about this time of year, and it goes on till October. Emily Mackenzie Procrosmia. Every year, these come out late August and go into September. Got these really nice, bright flowers. And underneath this blue salvia is still flowering although I think I'll cut it back because as you can see quite a few of the flowers are done but if the weather stays mild if you cut this back it will still come back with more cut this back this broom bush Lena featured this in a separate video but it's nice and bushy and all this new growth should provide flowers next year the catmint is still flowering cut it right back end of July and it's come straight back within a matter of weeks and even now it's still looking really good this is the longest flowering plant in the garden goes on for months you may tend to find around about this time of year some of the leaves start to look a bit tatty but the flowers are still coming and the bees are making the last of the summer but again this is proven to be an indispensable plant in the garden this lot of petalum flowers twice a year first time in March and the second time round about now September and um, as you can see really nice witch hazel type unusual flowers now I've kept this in a pot for the past couple of years and I bring it in in the winter but it still does okay do better in the ground but it has done okay in the pot and it still produces the flowers
Now for a couple of failures. This Mexican salvia. I've had this in the pot. Flowered last year. This year hasn't done well at all. Not sure what I'm doing wrong. Is it overwatered? Underwatered? Can't work it out. And also, this was great last year. Went through the winter. Took a bit of a battering. But it hasn't come back at all. So maybe next year. Maybe give it a bit of feed. It'll come back. Not quite sure what to do with it. They call it a California fuchsia. But it's not one of the best plants this year. This Hebe was cut right back by the winter. So I literally hacked it right back to the ground. And to be honest, I did not think it would come back. But it looks like there was enough energy in there for it to come, for it to come back with these new leaves. Hopefully we won't have another harsh winter and next year it will come back for us. And my love for Hebe's has been punished this year because I've lost maybe two or three. Lost Magic Summer, lost Willy Charm and I did the same with those. They lost every leaf on them, cut them right back. They didn't come back at all. But this one, for some reason, has responded. So this will live to fight another winter. A much underrated shrub. It's very common. It's the Fuchsia Riccartoni. Now, this will keep going until the frost. And it's been going for months. The flowers aren't impress as impressive as the beacon. But on mass, they still look good. Also, this is unlikely to die if you get a really harsh winter again. It's the toughest one that you can grow. This pot until cobalt. It's been flowering for months. Starting to fade out a bit now. But still got plenty of flowers on there. Still looks good. I cut this broom bush right back. It's put out lots of new growth. And on that new growth, next year we should see plenty of flowers. Now this herbaceous salvia, I find to be the best out of the ones I've got. They're coming back once you cut it back. It's called salvia. East Friesland or Friesland, not quite sure how you pronounce it, but I cut this right back after the first flowering and it gave me an impressive display the second time round. Now I've got a few of these in the garden, I've got Blue Hill, I've got rose coloured ones, um, I've got another one I featured Viola Close. Now when I cut them back, they do come back with flowers but it's nothing compared to the first time round. But this one does seem to, to be the better one when it comes to the second bloom. This is a baby pear tree. And it looks as if I'm gonna be getting some decent pears on this. Still a baby, this plant. But starting to produce already this was only planted this year it's not many flowers on it but where it really stands out is with this fantastic colour it's a fuchsia versa colour and I'd grow this every year in the border just for these leaves alone it really stands out from afar just underneath it is a plant I thought was done for Hebe Autumn Glory now this was doing quite well for a few years 
where it got absolutely decimated this winter but it looks as if it's starting to put some new growth out let's hope we don't get another bad winter and it can recover it's a bit of a lottery with the heebies some of them will die some of them will survive I mean I can't resist them I do love my heebies even though I have paid the price with quite a few whenever we get a cold winter thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe <laughs>